Hey you guys, welcome to Crafting with Julia. I'm Julia and I'm so glad you tuned in today. If you enjoy my videos, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you can be notified of all my newly released videos. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and I invite you to join my Facebook group called Crafting with Julia's Creative Community where you can be part of my crafting family. All of these links are in the description below this video. This is a fun fall DIY home decor video that I'm doing in collaboration with another very talented YouTube creator. Her name is Corey from Crafted by Corey. So after you've watched my video, please go over and check out her video and leave her a comment telling her I sent you over. You can find the link to her channel in the description below this video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you several ways you can make cute, inexpensive home decor for the fall. We're going to make some burlap candy corn. We're going to make some cute little pumpkin tea light holders. We're going to make an adorable magpie family. A pumpkin pillow made of drop cloth. And last but certainly not least, we're going to make a fall garland to tie everything together. So let's get started. Project number one, pumpkin tea lights made with Dollar Tree crates. We're going to make a quick and easy project using those crates that you get at Dollar Tree. Now these come unfinished. They're just crates that I got at Dollar Tree that I painted. Um, the color that I used is this, um, it's called Pueblo and it's the folk art uh, acrylic paint. So I just went ahead and I painted them both. And now we're gonna make little cute pumpkins. So what I did was I also took some wine corks. I painted them brown. These we're gonna use for the stems. So we're just going to um, glue them on the top. So this little guy is going to be a long pumpkin. This little guy is going to be a shorter one. And we are going to make our little curly Q vines. Now how I made this is I take a a large dowel and I take some wire and I just wrap it around the dowel pull it off then with pliers I just curl the top like that and stretch it out now this is going to be a double curly cue, so I'm going to curl both ends. And that's going to be a double curly cue. This one was just a single one. So I took some uh, green raffia that I bought at Dollar Tree and I cut it to look like the pumpkin leaves. So first I'm going to put my um, vine on, just glue it on like that. And then take the raffia and glue that on. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this little guy. I'm going to glue him on the top there. I'm going to glue the vine just like that. And 
and I'm going to stick the leaves. Actually, I should have done that first. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to put the leaves on first, the raffia on first, and then glue my little curly cue onto there. Okay, and now I got these little tea lights that are uh, electric, um, I'm sorry, battery operated tea lights that I'm just going to put inside the pumpkin. Is that cute? Project number two, a drop cloth pumpkin pillow. Next up is this um, pumpkin that I made out of drop cloth. So I used this um, felt pumpkin that I got from Dollar Tree and I traced it on drop cloth. So I traced it out, um, I doubled the fabric and traced it out and sewed around the edge and I left this part open so that I can stuff it. Then I ran it through the washer and dryer because I wanted to get that frayed edge. And now I'm going to have to trim all this excess off. This is how it comes out of the washing machine. So you just want to give it a little trim. Take all that extra, um, extra threads off. Okay, and now we're going to stuff it. So you're going to take a little bit of polyfill. We want to get right up into the stem there. So I'm going to push it through as much as I can with my hand. And then we're going to use the stuffing fork and push it up. So you're going to keep on doing this, stuff it all the way through. Make sure you get up into the leaf. See how good this stuffing fork is? It gets right up into the corner there. now that we have it all stuffed I'm just going to glue the hole closed Okay, so that's how it looks stuffed. And now I made a bow out of burlap. So I wanted orange burlap and I did not have any. So I painted the
the burlap. So I took my natural burlap and I just painted it orange. And that's how I got my orange burlap. And then I had this roll that I think I got this from Michael's. I'm not sure where I got this from, but this is, uh, I wanted three colors in my bow. And then I took this floral stem um, that I got from Dollar Tree and I wrapped it around my dowel, the coil method that I use. And that's how I made the bow. And I'm just gonna put the bow right on the pumpkin like that. So we are going to glue that on. Gonna glue it right there. Easy peasy. And we have a drop cloth pumpkin. Project number three a magpie family. Let's fall without a magpie. Look at these adorable magpies. So I made two adults and I'm gonna make two children. So uh, I made three of them so far and now we're gonna make the little baby um, together. So taking my pattern, and you will find this pattern in a PDF, PDF link uh, below this video. This is for the body, you're gonna cut two. This is for the crest, you're gonna cut two. And this is the nose, you're gonna cut one. So you would need yellow felt for the beak, black felt for the body, and black felt for the crest of the head. Now you can do this two ways. You could either cut the pattern out, sew it around, turn it right side out and stuff it, or um, you can just uh, cut it out and glue it around and that's what I'm going to do and I used pinking shears to cut it out because I wanted a decorative edge so I already cut out my pattern I have two pieces here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to flap this one over and we're going to make the crest first so this is a triangle and it's going to go this way so we're going to take scissors and we're just going to cut strips at the top so that we can fan it out. Okay, then we're gonna take the triangle point and you are gonna glue one piece down at the top. We're gonna to glue that down on the inside. Then we're gonna take the other one and glue that on top of that. Okay, and now we're gonna glue uh, around the edge we're going to leave the opening at the bottom so that we can stuff it so i'm going to take a little bit of glue put it around there and continue around to the bottom on both sides close it up Okay, and now we can stuff it. So you're gonna need a little bit of polyfill and we're just going to stuff it. Okay, and once we have it stuffed, we're gonna close it up. So now we're gonna Take the glue again and close it around the bottom. Okay, and 
that's what we have so far. Now, we're going to put the beak on, but first I want to put the eyes on so that I'll know where to put the beak. So let's do that. So I got these eyes at Dollar Tree, the little googly eyes. Uh, they come in all kinds of sizes. So this is the smaller one. Obviously, the adult one has the bigger eyes. So I want the eyes to be about right there. Let's see. The, now, the, with the nose, with the beak, make sure the narrow edge, the narrow part, is facing down. Do not put the beak on like that. It goes on like this. So that is the beak. So here's where I'm going to put my eyes. I want them right there. So I'm going to glue the eyes on. Okay, the eyes are glued on. Now you can either glue the beak on or you could give it a little decorative edge like I did. I made it a little blanket stitch and I, I think that's a little bit more uh, decorative. So we're going to do that. We're going to place the beak where we want it. I'm going to take some black embroidery thread and we're just going to give it a blanket stitch. So coming behind, behind the beak, and just keep going around. So that's how it looks. And now, just to give it a little bit of decoration, I made this out of raffia that I got at Dollar Tree. Just made a little raffia bow, and we're just going to put it at the top of his head. Like that. And there is our little magpie family. Cute. Project number four, burlap candy corn. Another thing that reminds me of fall is candy corn. I love candy corn. Now, I made this out of burlap. So what I did was I just drew a candy corn image and I traced it onto my burlap. Uh, then I cut around the edges and I sewed the edge. So I sewed all around the edge and then I sewed just the hem of the opening. And I want to leave this open because I want to stuff it. Um, and then I ran it through the washer and dryer because I wanted to get this frayed edge. And the reason why I sewed it is because that's where it stops it from fraying. So as you can see, there's my sewn edge and it stops it from fraying. Now, when it comes out of the washer, when it comes out of the dryer, it's going to look like this. It's going to look like a hairy mess. So you're going to have to clean it up a bit, which is what I did. I just cut off all those long pieces. So now I am going to stuff it. I'm going to take some polyfill, stuff the bag. Now, those of you who follow me know that this is a tool that I use quite often. It's a stuffing fork. And I use this to get all the way up into those hard to reach places. So because I want the polyfill to, to go all the way into the top of the um, 
to the candy corn. So see that? I want it to be up here. So I am going to stuff it, make sure it's nice and packed in there. And then I'll add more stuffing. I love candy corn. I know you can buy it all, all, all year, but there's something about this uh, fall season that makes me want to eat it. So I crave it during the fall season. But um, that to me is a sign of fall when I see the candy corn. Okay, so now with the opening, I could sew it, but for this video, I am just going to glue it. So I'm going to put that down and I'm going to put some glue right along the bottom edge. And just squeeze it closed. Okay, so once I have it all closed up, we're going to start to paint it. So I'm going to paint painted in three. So it's going to be white, orange, and yellow. And I'm just using regular acrylic paint. So starting with the white. I'm going to put some on my brush and I'm just going to paint the tip white. Now I make a line where I want the white to stop. So probably right there. So I'll make a clean line and I'll know to stop it there. So that's the white. And now I'm going to move on to the orange. Same thing with the orange. I think I want the line to be right there. So I'm going to first start with my line and make it right there.
so there's my orange and now I'm going to do the yellow And there's our candy corn. Project number five, a fall garland. I made this garland to add to my fall decor. Uh, my thinking is that I am going to lay it on my buffet and then um, scatter my fall decor in and around the garland. So, um, of course, it's a fall motif and what I did was I cut an eight foot piece of rope and all you do is you you get ribbons that you like these are the ribbons I'm using I like the, the colors because they're orange and brown and then I used a little drop cloth to add a little um, brightness to it um, so what you do is you just take your piece of ribbon and you tie it around the rope very simple and you, it just depends on how long you want your rope to be um, your garland to be so um, my buffet is a, a rather long buffet so um, I wanted it to be eight feet um, so what I did was I just varied the ribbons so I take one ribbon and I take this one Tie it around the rope. Then I take the drop cloth again, tie it around. Then 
going to take this one. And you could do this with any holiday. You can get Christmas ribbon, Easter ribbon. It could be a patriotic um, garland. Valentine's Day. So many things. And this one here was kind of hard to um, to tie because it is not only burlap, it's a stiff burlap, but it's also a wired ribbon. So um, if I ever did it again, I would not use a wired ribbon. So just mental note. You want to use a nice flexible ribbon. And I, um, I cut them 10 inches long. So each piece is 10 inches long. And that's all. And then at the end, you just want to knot it so that they don't come off. And that's it. You have the cute little garland to add to your, your fall decor. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again real soon. Happy crafting!